In this lesson, I'll show you how to simplify expressions containing square and curly brackets. Symbols of grouping or signs of aggregation are the parentheses, the brackets, the square ones, braces or curly brackets, and the bar, which looks like this, known as the vinculum. And you've likely seen this before when you try to evaluate a fraction that's repeating. Like 1 over 3, you end up with 0, decimal, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, and so on. And instead of writing all of that, you write down 0 0.3 with a bar on the top. Each symbol means that the terms enclosed are to be treated as a single term. That being said, we have to simplify the following expressions. And the pointer here is to start simplifying with the innermost grouping and then work outwards. So taking a look at question A, we have 4 and then this bracket 2, bracket x plus 1 plus 3. Starting with x plus 1, we can't combine x and 1 together because they're not like terms. So we'll then expand 2 times x and then 2 times 1. We end up with 4 square bracket 2x plus 2 plus 3. Notice that when you expand, the parentheses disappear. Now we'll focus on the square brackets. We have 2x plus 2 plus 3. 2 and 3 are like terms. This gives us 4 bracket 2x plus 5. And now you can expand, and by expanding, the square brackets will go away. This gives us 8x plus 20. That's the answer to question A. Let's move on to B. Once again, we'll start here, b minus 3. Those can't be combined, so we will expand. This gives us a plus 4, square bracket, 3 plus 2b minus 6. Now we focus on this part. 3 minus 6 is negative 3. So we have a plus 4, negative 3 plus 2b. We expand. 4 times negative 3 and 4 times 2b. This gives us a plus negative 12 plus 8b. Cleaning this up, we should end up with a plus 8b minus 12. That's the answer to question b. Moving on to c. This one's slightly more complicated because now we have these curly brackets. We have 1 minus m. That can be simplified further. Neither can n plus 3. So we focus on this larger unit. We can get rid of these brackets. We don't need them. And if you do get rid of these brackets, you'll end up with 1 plus 3, which is 4. And minus m plus n, they can't be combined. So let's write this down. We have 2, and then these curly brackets. And then the square brackets, we had 1 plus 3, which is 4, minus m plus n, minus 5. At this stage, we can even remove these square brackets because there's no factor being multiplied to it. After removing them, we should be able to combine 4 and minus 5. That gives us negative 1 minus m plus n. We have the curly brackets still times 2 minus 4. Now we can expand the 2 into the 3 terms inside of these brackets. This gives us negative 2 minus 2m plus 2n minus 4. Minus 2 minus 4 is negative 6, so we have negative 2m plus 2n minus 6. That's the answer to question C, and in question D, the most difficult of them all, starting with these parentheses, x plus 7 cannot be combined, but if you expand, this becomes negative x and this becomes negative 7. 3 minus 7 is negative 4. Let's keep that in mind. So we have the curly brackets, minus x plus 4, minus 3x, minus bracket x plus 7. We can expand this negative into the x and the 7. This gives us negative x minus 7. And negative x minus 3x is negative 4x plus 4. Notice that there's no factor in front of this bracket, so we don't need them. And we can combine the rest. Minus 4x and minus x gives us negative 5x. And 4 with minus 7 is negative 3. That's the answer to question D. And that is how to simplify expressions containing square and curly brackets.